Happy birthday, Daddy. I love you. Happy birthday, Dad. Love you. Happy birthday, Dad. You're the big 4 now. Love you. Happy birthday, Charlie. I love you. Have a good time. We miss you. Yeah. Some are just the world looks blue and green and the snow can melt and sweet. And some are just the ocean leaves a dream and the eagle seems to fly. Rojdinia, Charlie. Oh, good morning, Houston, and uh, good morning to my family. Thanks, girls. Thanks, Lance. It's a great day to have a birthday in space. Dave, we're just finishing configuring KU to COM. Uh, matter of fact, I think we're done. You should be able to take it. We have it, Charlie, and that is just spectacular. We see the station clearly through the pedals of the docking ring. At the top of uh, the Mir space station is the Soyuz capsule used by... Both are, uh, TCS have now. Copy. At the top of the space station is the Soyuz capsule. We have a beautiful picture. We see you zooming in now. This split screen view now on the left side showing the uh, extended docking ring abor above the orbiter docking system and the uh, right hand view again showing the center line camera view from the orbiter docking system as it looks at the uh, blinking lights along the uh, Cristal module's docking port. This is Mission Control Houston. As the shuttle Atlantis and the Mir space station pass across the southern tip of South America, our first views of the shuttle as taken from the Mir and relayed to the United Atlantis States. Houston, we have video from the Mir spacecraft looking at you. Great, Dave, we copy. Uh, of course, we've got it on our cameras here. We've got the center line up, and uh, that's right, you're not going to have TV for a while, are you? That's right, we won't have it for a while. Atlantis is currently passing over uh, Tierra del Fuego and the southern tip of South America. U.S. astronaut Norm Thaggard is uh, manning the camera here, providing this television view. Again, Atlantis will uh, stop uh, at, a, at a point 30 feet from the Mir space station for five additional minutes of station keeping, at which point uh, Flight Director Bob Castle here in Houston and Russian Flight Director Viktor Blagov in Kaliningrad 
We'll uh, take one final assessment of the uh, status of their two vehicles uh, before proceeding on for the docking, which is now less than 15 minutes away. Yep. Atlantis about two minutes away from reinitiating its final approach to the Mir space station. Time to docking, less than seven minutes. This picture of the orbiter docking system, it is ready for contact and capture with the Crystal module's docking mechanism. And this television now from the shuttle Atlantis showing a split screen. On the left side, the orbiter docking system's docking ring. At the bottom of the picture, at the top, is the Crystal uh, module's docking port. AOS, Cedrus West. The picture on the right side shows the centerline camera view out of the orbiter docking system. Copy. Atlantis 16 feet from the mirror. Time to docking, 2 minutes, 45 seconds. This picture now from the Mir space station showing the approach of the two uh, docking mechanisms toward each other. Atlantis 10 feet from the Mir, time to docking, 1 minute 50 seconds. Atlantis 8 feet away, Hoot Gibson edging Atlantis at a rate of less than one tenth of a foot per second. Space shuttle and a space station now six feet from each other. Time to docking, one minute. Flight controllers here standing by for contact and capture of the two vehicles against one another. Capture. 
Atlantis, we confirm Mir in free drift. With the capture initiated between Atlantis and Mir, 20 years after Apollo Soyuz, a U.S. spacecraft and a Russian spacecraft are once again joined in orbit. Commander uh, Vladimir Dzhurov aboard the Mir also confirms capture. <laughs> Mechanical systems officer here reports that the two uh, docking mechanisms are now aligned. The docking ring on Atlantis should be uh, retracted shortly. Once fully retracted, uh, the structural mating of the hooks and latches on both sides of the docking interfaces will be uh, underway. This television view from the Mir space station showing Mir 19 cosmonauts Anatoly Soloviev and Nikolai Budarin waving out the windows. Yeah, we see you guys smiling in the window. Soloviev and Budarin just a few hours away from uh, moving into the Mir space station to take over control of the Mir from their colleagues, uh, Commander Vladimir Dzhurov, Flight Engineer Gennady Strekalov, and Cosmonaut Researcher Norm Thager, the first U.S. astronaut to fly on the Mir. Congratulations, Space Shuttle Atlantis, Space Station Mir. After 20 years, our spacecraft are docked in orbit again. Our new era of space exploration has begun. Houston Atlantis, we agree. Uh, it's a great feeling to be here. Uh, it's a, a massive team effort. And many people have pulled together to make this happen. Uh, we're lucky and we're honored and privileged to be part of this. Uh, it's great to be back joined in orbit again. Hear you loud and clear. Hello. Здравствуйте. Norm. Norm. I'm still saving the hot fudge sundae for you. It'll be ready on the ground when you land. Yeah, we'll look, we're looking forward to that, sir. Thanks. I tell you, this has really been an emotional experience for me. It's uh, just a wonderful uh, dream come true. Это было очень эмоциональное впечатление для нас. Наконец-то наша мечта осуществилась в реальности. We started working on this in June of '92. Мы начали работать по этому программ по этой программе в июне девяносто года. We finalized the conceptual design in uh, October of '93. Окончательный дизайн пришелся на конец 93 -го года, в октябре. This live television now coming from payload bay cameras aboard Atlantis looking at the, uh, the docked uh, interface between the Crystal module and the shuttle's orbiter docking system looking at uh, cameras at the front of the payload bay looking aft. Atlantis Houston, we show vestibule pressurization complete, and uh, please coordinate with the Mir crew for the leak check. Okay, Dave, we'll look at that. Atlantis Houston, AOS Tedris West. And Dave, uh, just update you, the uh, mirror folks have opened their hatch and they're in the process of uh, re removing the uh, light and the standoff cross target and that sort of stuff. 
Copy. The mirror hatch is open. Concur. Lay high to Norm. I'll get here first. We concur. We have a good image of you. You're go to open the shuttle hatch. Okay, here goes. easier without gravity. Так, чуть поярче можно еще. Еще ярче, еще больше открой. Засветка на команде. Да, там засветка, а на переднем плане темно. Еще раз. Переднее вниз сказали. Еще раз повторить. Нормальная засветка, нормальная. Так, ну что, хорошо, да. Мы пошли в газу. Камеру пусть оставит, господи. Давай, давай, Володь. Володя, кто меня слышит? Я слышу, Володя. Значит, большая просьба. У нас, ребята, осталось две с половиной минуты. И кончает да. СССР. Протаскивайте их в базовый блок, и в следующий СССР начинаем... Как вам Билл. говорил Игорь? Да, понятно. Да, Пусть да, они проходят. И выключаем СА-319 по концу сеанса. Обязательно, а то свет не войдет. And this television from the shuttle perspective. On the left is Amir-19 Commander Anatoly Soloviev, Flight Engineer Gennady Strekolov of the Mir-18 crew in the blue suit. 
In between them is a mere 19 flight engineer, Nikolai Budarin, and the mustache in the background. This is old home for Anatoly Soloviev. This is his fourth flight to the Mir space station. Prior to the launch of Atlantis on Tuesday, Soloviev had logged 378 days in orbit. Atlantis Commander Hoot Gibson on the right. There are pictures uh, being taken and video being shot uh, of the initial entrance by Atlantis's crew into the Mir space station. Uh, all of the crew members will be positioned shortly uh, to begin a uh, brief welcoming ceremony. It's a uh, it's a great image from here too, Dave. Uh, this is this is quite a view and quite a quite an experience. Uh, a wonderful culmination to an awful lot of work on a lot of people's parts. The rest of the crew members now congregating. We concur, and it looks like you're all thoroughly enjoying yourself. We're just having no fun at all. I think we have a lot of work and a lot of science for the rest of this mission. that loud and clear who we have a long history in front of us and a lot of accomplishments to to make a little more room now than we had with Apollo Soyuz that's for sure Dave we had kind of a uh, tight quarters right at the actual uh, right at the actual contact point but uh, as you can see we have a whole lot more room uh, here in the base block That's great, and it'll be another great welcoming ceremony then. Dave, we were wondering if uh, maybe you might be able to count heads at this point and, uh, and see if we've got everybody here. We think we have everybody here. Well, that's a lot of people in space at one time. We'll count it up. We count 10 people in view. Hello, everybody's waving back. That's great, Harvey. Families are all waving from the viewing room. Очень приятно 
наблюдать здоровых, очень жизнерадостных людей на станции. И я думаю, что у нас работа состоится, и мы ее выполним очень хорошо и в полном объеме. Спасибо. Спасибо. Спасибо, Володя. А, сколько лет, сколько зим. Сегодня мы наконец а, пожидаем нашу дружбу после полета Союза Поло. А, вместе мы построим а, будущее на основе сотрудничества, а, доверна и дружбы. Сегодня а, это наша а, Наша важная, важная э, настоящая миссия. Спасибо. We have six more minutes until Tedra's handover. Okay, we're back with you. Okay, great. We see you too. We have a great image of the joint patch from the U.S. Russian space program. We'd all like to tell you how inspiring it was to watch our country's uh, two great spacecraft dock together out there, and just uh, their beautiful spacecraft. Dave, we agree. Uh, this was a pretty spectacular day for all of us, and uh, it was a real thrill for us to get to see the mirror uh, floating, floating freely out there as it has done for so many years now. And, uh, After all the training and the preparation, it seems hard to believe that we're actually there, but uh, indeed we are. Go ahead. Yes, Ellen, we have two additional steps we'd like uh, to give a try on here when you're ready to copy. Go ahead. All right, first we'd like you to uh, check the connections on the RS-232 between the MGAS and the computer. Check those connections. And following that, uh, try the uh, try icon again. This is Mission Control Houston aboard uh, the Mir Space Station in Atlantis. Uh, the cruise day is winding down as they approach uh, their uh, evening meal time. Uh, they're almost uh, getting to the end of their active uh, duty day, and uh, we'll move into that time frame that uh, is the evening time frame where they have a couple of hours to get ready uh, to begin their eight-hour sleep period. We're currently receiving live television from Atlantis uh, as it's docked to the Mir Station. The two spacecraft uh, creating the largest spacecraft ever in Earth orbit at uh, a mass of almost half a million pounds. At present, uh, the two are above the Pacific Ocean, uh, well off the coast of South America, at an altitude of 216 nautical miles. This is Mission Control. Thanks, Dory. This is Mission Control Houston. This view is from the Space Lab module mounted in the cargo bay of Atlantis. Activity in the Space Lab module today has been uh, to Hi,
We got you. Hello. In the module, uh, mission specialists uh, Bonnie Dunbar and uh, Ellen Baker are uh, at work activating it as they have been uh, for the past uh, hour and a half or so, preparing it uh, for the various medical and uh, scientific okay, investigations. The, uh, finishing up the activation with the uh, specs up on the flight deck, and shortly after that, uh, we'll do payload activation. Okay, thanks. This is Mission Control Houston as uh, Atlantis and the Mir space station uh, fly 215 nautical miles above the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Newfoundland. These views are from uh, cameras mounted in the cargo bay of Atlantis. Various uh, views of the Mir station uh, from several different cameras uh, have been displayed over the past uh, couple of minutes. On board, the cruise day is winding down. Uh, they're reaching the point uh, for the evening on board where they'll be preparing uh, to go to sleep. Uh, sleep time uh, begins at 5.32 p.m. Central. This view shows the uh, docking interface uh, between uh, Atlantis and uh, the Mir station, uh, the two modules uh, together, and the docking mechanism uh, in the uh, lower center of the view.